Hey everyone, it's Jade El Coro here at The Aimless Cook. I'm back with a brand new recipe. This is for nasi goreng. This is my version of nasi goreng because I've seen a lot of versions out there, but I didn't see a lot of versions that had what I'm about to put in it, which is red curry paste. Now, the red curry paste and the, the curry paste that you can buy in the uh, supermarkets are very cool because you can keep them in your fridge forever and they're so versatile. And I'm gonna show you that versatility in today's recipe. This is a very aromatic, full of flavor fried rice that I really enjoy and it's my go-to breakfast on a nice Sunday morning. So you're gonna love this and it's all gonna be happening right now on The Aimless Cook. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with our recipe here is we're gonna make our sauce. And I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of red Thai chili paste. Now you can get this at any Asian grocery store or you can make your own. And to that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil just to even things out and bring everything together. To that, I'm also going to add a tablespoon of ketchup manis, which is a Indonesian like uh, sweet soy sauce. And I recommend you get the brand called ABC. Now to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of sambal olek, which is our chili and garlic paste, and also a teaspoon of minced fresh garlic. Finally, I'm going to add a little splash of fish sauce, and we're going to whisk everything together until well blended and then set it aside. Now here's the part where you can let your creativity go wild. I got a couple tablespoons of oil here in a very hot wok, and when that's nice and smoky, I'm going to add a tablespoon again of our fresh minced garlic, as well as a little bit of chopped shallots. Now if you don't have chopped shallots, you can also use onion or red onion, doesn't matter. And then to that, I'm going to add a couple cups of uh, cold leftover rice from the night before. Now, of course, this is really great for using up leftovers. So this is where we're gonna go from here. So we're gonna cook our rice with our onions and garlic here. And all we're doing here is we're just gonna go through with the paddle and make sure that all of the rice clumps are broken up. Now when your rice is evenly broken up, we're gonna add our sauce. Now you're probably only gonna need half of the sauce that we made in our recipe. So this one will make about two uh, full rice bowls, which is about uh, two generous servings or four sides. Now we're just going to mix that through until it is evenly distributed and then I'm going to dig into the fridge for some leftover vegetables and in this case I found some leftover carrots as well as some enoki mushroom. Now you can add whatever you like so be creative and we're just going to mix everything through until everything is nice and heated through, uh, salt to season and then of course we're ready to plate. Now a nasi goreng is not a nasi goreng in my opinion unless it has a sunny side up fried egg. So that's what we're going to do here really quickly. Now of course we're going to make that nice yolk runny and soft so that when we cut into it it oozes down into the rice and makes everything just that much more delicious. So let's put our rice down on the plate here and everything looks delicious and to that I'm going to add some uh, chopped green onion or cilantro if you've got it. Now once that's looking beautiful I've also added some homemade pickles here. Now they're really easy to make and I can show you how to make them on a future episode. Just a side note on flavor here, we've already addressed our spicy, sweet and salty notes with our sauce. But of course we're going to need that sour hit to balance everything out. So when you serve, be sure to have a couple of lime wedges handy or some fresh lime juice and just finish it off right when you serve. Okay, so let's give this a taste. So I got some egg in there, I want everything in one bite. Mm. Now there's a little bit of heat in there, but of course it's also balanced with all of the other great flavors that are going on here with the galangal, the shallots, fish sauce, sugar. So it's really a wonderful dish and I urge you to try this at home. In fact, take it with you, make it yours and have fun in the kitchen. Which brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite way to enjoy rice? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.